Hey there, Tuba Knights. It's your friendly neighborhood gun lover here uh, with another uh, range report with everybody's favorite 1911. Uh, you'll notice on the front there, mine stick out a little bit longer. So if you've ever seen the uh, Tom Jane Punisher movie, you'll know what this is. It's, it's just a bushing compensator, but I thought it looked cool. Uh, looking at it now, kind of wish I had gone with the stainless version like he did in the movie. But uh, I got this from Gun Parts Warehouse online. Uh, it, this version was only $30. I think the brush stainless was like $35 or $40. I forget which. But I don't know. It was more honestly for looks than anything. I didn't really expect much uh, performance out of it as far as um, reducing recoil or, or muzzle flip, anything like that. I, I didn't really care. I, it was mo almost purely aesthetics. So anyway, so we took this out and shot it. Uh, you'll notice in the video the wife came out with me. Um, my wife and I were in the Navy together. That's where we met. So she's familiar with guns, but it's been a long time since she shot. I've been a very uh, poor husband in, in that sense. I haven't gotten her out to the range very often. So she was a little nervous and, and it was, I mean, really it was almost kind of like a first time thing again. So you'll notice uh, in this video, and then we also shot the uh, the Glock 19 in another video, but you can tell her her grip was a little kind of, what do I do with this? What do I do with my hands? Um, and there's some flinching, but all in all, you'll see by the end, and I'll show, I'll show the papers and whatnot to, as far as how we did uh, accuracy wise. By the end, she calmed down quite a bit and really got to enjoy herself a lot, so that was fun. Um, Malfunctions. We had not a single malfunction this time. So I don't know. There was a ton of comments. A ton for me. How's that? For the, the viewership that I get, I got a lot of comments about little fixes that I could do. Uh, polish the feed ramp, mess with the magazine feed lips, um, break in periods, blah, blah, blah. Different magazines, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know if it was some combination therein. Uh, the break in period, maybe. One of the comments I said, you know, I might have been limp wristing last time. That may have caused some of those. Could be. I'm guilty of it just as much as anybody else from time to time. So it could have been any number of those things. But all I know is that we shot uh, just under 300 rounds this trip out with the 1911, and we had not a single problem. So, um, and that's including trying out some new mags. I threw in uh, two Pro Mag 8 rounders and another Pro Mag 10 rounder. And uh, the only real problem I had with the Pro Mags was on the 8-rounder on one of them, the first time I put it in, just the one time I put it in, um, I had a lot of trouble getting it in, but then once I slammed it in there, from then on it was fine, so I don't know if there was just some bad machining that I didn't notice beforehand or what, but other than that, everything worked perfectly. Um, I'll show you real quick. So, we first started shooting... I guess the 45, yeah, the 1911 was on this page. So by here, this we shot the 45, the 1911 second. Um, and by then, my wife had calmed down quite a bit. And I was I was actually shooting a lot better this time than I was the time before. If you if you watch my other video, uh, I don't remember if I showed it in the... I don't think I showed it in the 1911 video. I think I showed it in the Savage video, the uh, AR-15. But I was trending low and left for whatever reason. But anyways, this time around, I actually did pretty good. So these top two... Are me. Hey, these top two are me, so you can see I was hitting pretty good on these, um, and then the bottom three are my wife. So, like I said, by the time we were we were done, she was grouping them pretty well. Um, this was at seven yards. Um, so, all in all, obviously the the test continues. We'll see what happens at future range trips. I'd like to do another. 350, 400 round range trip and see what happens. Um, one quick note, the manufacturer of this compensator says that you should um, disassemble the gun and clean it every 50 rounds. The ranges I go to kind of frown upon you disassembling a weapon while you're on the firing line or, or there, period. Plus cleaning on top of that, most ranges aren't cool with that. So I just shot it. Um, the way I see it, the original bushing was made for that. If this can't function in that regard, then I only paid $30 for it anyway if I end up breaking it or something like that. It's really, 
for all the more it costs, it's it's not it's about the same price as a replacement bushing anyway. So worst case, if this doesn't work out, I just put the original bushing back in. No big deal. Like I said, it's mostly for looks anyway. But it was uh, when I did go to clean it, it was all caked up inside there. That was that was a bear to clean. I probably still didn't get it uh, all the way cleaned. But uh, like I said, just under 300 rounds. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I've got a lot of good viewership uh, from this gun. Um, I think a lot of people were just as curious about it as I was. Remington pistols have kind of gotten a bad reputation recently. And even when these first came out, there was a lot of um, flaws with some of the build, uh, scratching on the inside of the frame and stuff like that. Um, aside from those bobbles, the last trip, which like I said, could have been any number of things. It could have been me, it could have been, it just needed a break-in period. Maybe I didn't grease it right in the right place. I have no idea, no clue, but all I know is it ran great. Um, my wife and I both said the same thing when we left. I love shooting this. There's nothing wrong with Glocks. I, I love them. They're great guns. Um, they're okay-ish to shoot. I say that. They're just as fun as any other gun. But there's something about these. I mean, it, it's such a throwback. There's so much iconicism built into this gun that uh, it's, it's so much fun. So even, even the wife uh, loved it when we, when we shot it. So anyways, I'm done blabbing, that's it. Uh, please enjoy the video. Uh, I, I haven't pushed this in the past, but if you, if you enjoy me blabbing and then showing you a little bit of shooting, um, consider subscribing. Uh, not that it really matters, I'm never gonna get monetized anyway. YouTube hates guns, but that's, that's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll do what we can. Um, like it if you like it. If you dislike it, can you give me cons constructive c criticism on what you didn't like? Like I've never, if, ever, if I ever dislike a video, I, I watch a lot of YouTube, if I ever dislike a video, I usually put a comment, hey, you know, I think you should do this or maybe you shouldn't have done that. It, constructive criticism, be nice, don't be a jerk about it, but if I'm doing something that I need to change, I can't fix it if I don't know it's broken, right? Anyways, I'm done. Enjoy the video, thanks for watching.
Now he's throwing them back. <laughs>